Hey guys, I'm going to make a quick shooting video. Today I'm shooting the Hornady Precision Hunter. It is a 7mm Remington mag, 162 grains. I decided while I'm shooting, I'm going to go ahead and shoot these Winchester bullets. These are the Winchester PowerPoint Super X 175 grain bullets. Just a little bonus I'm going to add at the end. I've got these Federals here. It is Power Shock 150 grains. I might as well shoot a couple of those. My gun is a Thompson Center Compass. I've got a Nikon Buckmasters 2 4x12 scope. The edge of that um, closest group of trees right there is right in front of its 200 yards. My target is out there. So here is my group. 200 yards. I feel like I feel like it could have been better. But I will say as little as that dot was, my crosshairs, it was kind of hard to see exactly where the dot was. So I feel like I feel like I wasn't super steady like you know like I wasn't uh, holding it just super steady. Now I'm going to shoot the Winchesters. Here's what I shot. These three were the Hornady's I had shot. These three I shot zeroing in the gun. These two were the Winchesters. That's pretty good right there. This clump of trees right here is about um, 200 yards. I'm going to move the target over against those trees. I don't know if that's going to be quite 300 yards. But I'm going to move it out there. I'm going to get my range finder. I'm going to shoot at that distance. Let me go ahead and put this on the target. All right, I've got the sticker on there. I did set it up a little bit high because it may be hard to see through the weeds that through there. I will point out that there's already a hole right there. Got the range finder out. It says it's 300 yards. I'm going to try to zoom in on this target and show you. I can barely see the top of the target sticking up. I'm still going to hurl a bullet though. Let's see right there. You can see that black box right there. That's the target. Now this scope has the BDC recticles. It's got the crosshairs and then underneath the crosshairs there's rings. I'm going to be using the second ring below the crosshairs. I'll try to give you a look of what the BDC reticle looks like. I'm using the Magnum specification over here on the right. So at 200 yards, I'm using just the crosshairs. At 300 yards, I'm using that little circle right there. And I'm going to shoot two of these Winchester bullets. Here are my two bullet holes with the Winchester bullets at 300 yards. Just use some wire. I've got the target wired up in the tree where I can see it a little better. I think I'm going to shoot a couple of bullets of the Hornady's now. Alright guys, this is unbelievable right here. I just shot this group at 300 yards with those Hornady bullets. And I'll, I'll tell you what I think, and you could probably see from this shooting video, 
I think what I've been doing wrong while my group has not been good. So I'll try to show you what I feel was different about those last two shots. The way I have been shooting today, and you'd think I would know this by now, but I don't shoot just a whole lot. My first shots, I was using my left hand or the hand in front, and I was trying to hold the gun steady. But my hands aren't real steady. You can probably see a little bit of tremble in them there. And I was holding the front of the gun down like this. Well, I think I was adding a little bit of movement down there. My second shot, so I tried to put less pressure up here and just let it kind of sit there. And it's a whole lot steadier that way. Anyways, I did all that shooting this morning. My groups weren't real good. But those last two groups were really good and I really believe it's the way that I had this gun sitting on a lead sled that made all the difference. All right, this will be the Federals. So I believe this bullet and this bullet right here were the Winchesters. And I really think that that group being so far apart is my fault. These two bullets right here those were the Hornady 162 grains, and these were those Federals I just shot, I believe. So those Federals are plenty capable killing a deer or an elk at 300 yards. And all of these bullets shot well enough to kill a deer at 300 yards, and I feel like um, some of the groups that weren't real good, it was because I wasn't real steady as I was pulling the trigger and holding the gun in the lead sled.